It's my pleasure to be here with all of you. I'm Assemblywoman Neely Rosick. I represent the 25th Assembly District, which includes all of the seven self-help buildings um, right here in Flushing. It's my great pleasure to be here with State Senator Toby Ann Stavisky, Self-Help, UJA, um, and so many others who have helped make today happen. Um, we're here to announce state funding for Self-Help's Holocaust Survivor Program, which, as you know, runs a lot of the services and resources right here um, in Flushing. This was $50,000 in this year's state budget, and um, overall statewide, we've managed to invest $200,000 into Holocaust survivor programming. If you don't know already, New York is home to more than half of the approximately 110,000 Holocaust survivors living in the United States, the majority of which live right here in New York City, Long Island, and Westchester. And of the 55,000 survivors living in New York City, about half live just at or below the poverty line. And as survivors age and navigate the expected challenges that come, they have additional struggles that you might not realize. And so with so much progress and looking back at our history, it's important to do our part to support and uplift survivors as much as we can. And that's why I'm really excited and thrilled to announce today's uh, funding. It'll be directed towards programming and services most needed by survivors, from necessary social gatherings, but also health resources and services one-on-one. -on -one. A budget is usually a statement of our priorities, and in New York, you are our priority. With so many of us sharing this community, it's our top priority to care for survivors, to provide assistance so that everyone can age with dignity, independence, and all the support you could possibly need. I'm so thankful for everything that you've done for this community, and I'm grateful that we can now help you in return. With that, I'm gonna hand it over to State Senator Toby Ann Stavisky. Thank you for including self-help and the Holocaust uh, Remembrance Program in the state budget. Uh, I think it's appropriate that we celebrate Yom HaShoah at this time of the year because we just finished recanting the story of the exodus from Egypt and our Passover Seder. Programs such as this will enable people to receive services and to uh, tell the past so that we can understand the future. So again, I thank my Assemblywoman, Neely Rosick, uh, and we certainly self -self thank Self Help for their contributions because they were formed by Holocaust, by money from uh, German reparation money uh, from Holo the Holocaust survivors, and Self Help has done a remarkable job in continuing the fight against anti-Semitism, but also helping people cope with the future. So again, we thank you. And next, we're gonna hear from Sandy Myers of Self Help. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Sandy Myers, and I am honored and excited to represent Self Help Community Services and welcome you all here today. Thank you for joining us. I also wanna thank Assemblywoman Rosick um, and the New York State Assembly, as well as Senator Stavisky for their support in securing this funding. And it is fitting, as you heard from both of our colleagues, that we're having this event a few days shy of Yom HaShoah, because this is a perfect opportunity to reflect on your stories, to celebrate your resilience, and to make sure that you have access to the care that we are able to provide. So again, we are very grateful for that funding. And this support, just like coming here today, um, really enables all of you, as well as the other Holocaust survivors uh, who self-help supports, to age with the independence and dignity that they so richly deserve and that you so richly deserve. Um, we're also grateful to our partners, uh, including UJA Federation, who helped secure this funding and hope to be able to carry it forward in the next few budget cycles. So next, I want to call up 
a few of you who have graciously volunteered to share your stories. I was I was self help help uh, for the last twelve or fourteen years. It goes back to when my wife was still alive. I have the, the self help is the psychological, the mental help, just talking to the social worker. I used to have a private psychiatrist for years ago, and the rent situation and the food situation, not the food is great, I do my own shopping still, so that's, that's all right. Well, anyway, so I think helpful uh, self-help very much. Hi, everybody. I am a member of self-help in Manhattan, where we get, it's a committee of survivors that gets all the requests for assistance. And I have to mention that also, although the survivors pass away, but the one that survive, they need more because their health is deteriorated by day to day, and their savings they, they diminish, their needs are increasing and their savings are decreasing. So I really appreciate the self-help aid because they provide us uh, home care to, like the gentleman said, whoever needs, and we have many survivors in our organization in Queens, they get uh, five days or three days, whatever they need, uh, home care, uh, we approve uh, for dental work assistance, we approve for eyeglasses assistance, and we approve for hearing aids, whatever <coughs> the survivor need. And of course we are limited for, for the uh, amount that we can uh, allocate, but it's like the gentleman said, it's helping a lot to survivors that cannot afford to pay the rent or to pay for their dental work. So I really want to thank Self Help again for their unbelievable help that they give to the needed survivors. I'm a survivor, but I'm also a veteran. And as a survivor, I connected up with Self Help in 1981, but as a volunteer. And uh, for 12 years, I led a music appreciation group. Thank God, I still am able to look after myself, and f physically, I'm okay. Even so, I'm 95 years old. I have a wonderful social worker who keeps my spirits up, and uh, helps me with various applications or whatever paper, paperwork I have. And th that, is, that is the best thing, because uh, that is successful, at least. That you have your rent stabilized, and you get whatever you can. Uh, that is the social work of self-help.